Mabuhai! That was such a good phrase. We're going up. Yes, girls, you are. You are steadily going up, reaching new heights as we talk. <laughs> Hi, I'm Pierre, and welcome to Neon Reactions. Folks, we are back with Beanie today, and today it's going to be the Road Trip Adventures in Manila episode 3. But before we dive into that, first of all, I want to say thank you thank you thank you for all your kind words and for your and for your positive feedback um on my musica cover that i posted in the last video um yeah i am trying to get into the flow of the language of the of the pronunciation you know i have even though when I watched the, the original video for the first time, of course, I read along in the subtitles. I know what the song is about, but I don't know the precise words. That's what I want to go back to now. And I want to, um, I want to see what each and every word means so that I can like make a little backpack full of vocabulary that I know and that I can maybe pick out when I need them. Um, but for now, this was just a test of the flow. And um, the song, playing-wise on the guitar, it's easy enough for me not to think about the guitar while playing. I can concentrate on, on reading these, <laughs> these words that I have no idea about and just trying to get the pronunciation right. You know, so yeah, that's... It's going to take a while, but... Thank you. Thank you for the feedback. But now it's time for the Road Trip Adventures in Manila, Episode 3. And I went um, by one of your suggestions. I can't remember who did, but one of you told me to check out the channel Beanie Subs. Uh, they actually made subtitles for the third episode. And we are here now. And I'm going to watch it there, but down in the com in the description of the video, I'm going to post the link to the original, and then I'm going to post the the link to this channel. So please head on over to them. They are blooms. I don't know who's who's making the channel, but um, they put hard work here into this, and give them some love, okay? Give them some love. Give them some views and make them smile okay but for now let's dive on in before we do don't forget to hit that subscribe button like and share the video hop on over to my patreon for some exclusive stuff and if you have anything to tell me you know comment section is the place to go but now now it's time for the road trip adventures part three <laughs> yes na 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 Mabuhay! Mabuhay! Mo kami. <laughs> Let's eat, come on. Let's eat, come on. Mm. Mm. <laughs> na, 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 na. Yep, yep. This is like the best intro ever. They are just bubbling with so much enthusiasm. I love it. Wait, that was the the what? The National Museum? Wait, I I wanted to see what it said on the building. National Museum of Natural History. Okay. National Museum of Natural History. <laughs> okay. Mabuhay! Join us as we go around the country rediscovering our heritage. I cannot get over that dress on Aya. She looks 
light blue is so good on that lady. Wow. And the beauty of the Philippines. Woo! Hi everyone, I'm Bini Aya. I'm yes. Bini I'm Malai. I'm Bini Gwen. I'm Bini Stacy. I'm Bini Mika. I'm Bini Joanna. I'm Bini Sheena. And we are <laughs> Bini! And you are watching the Bini, Bini, Bini Road, Road Trip, Trip Adventures! Adventures. <laughs> To better understand as Filipinos, we also need to understand what happened to our country from centuries ago. And luckily, the National Museum of History was able to document, acquire, and exhibit Philippine-related arts, specimens, and artifacts. Wow. Okay. Aya has had those earrings in different shapes and sizes already. These giant, it's like a hoop earring, but it's just shaped in a heart. She has them in silver and she had them in gold and sometimes in larger and a bit smaller. That looks nice on her. Regional location ng National Museum. Wow. Wow. Oh. Oh. Tama Gina, inilipat ang National Museum sa Quiapo, pero sa Battle of Manila noong February 1945, oh. halos na ubus lahat ng collection nila sa National Museum. Okay. Pero after years of transformation, inilipat na nila ang National Museum of the Philippines dito sa Ermita, Manila. Oh. So, oh. Ermita, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. I, I love, love the, the coconut. coconut. Come on, baby boy. Come on, baby boy. I, I can't say anything. This is just good. The coconut nut. This is good. Of the coca tree. <laughs> Coconut. Come on, baby boy. Come on, my baby boy. I love the coconut. You like it? Oh my gosh. You this is good. I love the coconut. coconut. Come on, baby boy. Come on, my baby boy. Gwen's smile is beautiful. <laughs> Okay, okay. You can build a big house for the family. Of the coca tree. Of the coca tree. Of the coca tree. Of the coca tree. Of the Yeah, we like oh it. Oh my gosh. You I love the coconut. Come on, baby boy. Oh, I just saw. Aya is the one with the tambourine. She's got it on her lap. Wait. I was just thinking, I only see Sheena with that shaker egg. But we can see here, Aya's got the tambourine in her lap and she's hitting it. 
I was always thinking, who's got that thing? But it's Aya. Okay. Come on, baby boy. Come on, baby boy. Three, two, one, oh, shout. Oh, This is good. Nice, nice. Centrong. Centrum Pankultura. Okay. Cafe Cup. Welcome to Marikina City! Yes! Sa Marikina, ang shoe capital ng Pilipinas dahil dito ginagawa ang ilan sa pinakamatitibay na local shoe brands oh, ng bansa. Okay. And fun fact, suit namin ngayon is gawa here sa yeah. Marikina. Yes. <laughs> Alam nyo ba na ang Marikina ay galing salitang Marikit na? Wow. Sa lumang kwento, oh, si Marikit na okay, isang okay. magandang dalaga na laging tumitingin sa kanyang reflection sa ilog. Wow. Yeah. At sabi ng kanyang mga kaibigan na, Marikit ka na, Marikit na. Nako, i-google nyo na yan. Google Marikit nyo. ka Check na. Nyo. So guys, behind us is one of Marikina's landmark, Kapitan Moy's House. Wow. Wow. Kapitan Moy's house. Okay. Nako malalaman natin yan and more other interesting stories pag nakapasok na tayo sa bahay. So let's go, Tor! Let's go inside, yes! The Captain Moy house. The last Hasandera. Doña Teresa de la Paz. Okay. Okay. Una nangyari dito ay naging uh, paggawaan dito ng sapatos kasi dito na diskubre ang paggawa ng sapatos noong 1887 ng may-ari ng bahay na si Don Laureano Guevara or si Kapitan Moy. Si Doña Teresa de la Paz Tuason, 'di ba? Ang mga asyenda ay pinapatakbo ng mga kalalakihan. Pero dito sa Marikina, siya lamang ang tanging naging isang oh, okay. babae ang papatakbo ng malaking asyenda. <laughs> ano na po yung Kapitan Moy ngayon po? Ito ngayon ay sentro pang kultura ng Marikina. Kapay Kapitan Restaurant. That's a cool thing to make. It now being the, the cultural center, or what, what did he say? It's the... Yeah. Come on. Hurry up. Go back. Go back. It's the cultural center of Marikina. Marikina. You told me not to pronounce the R in the American way, more in the German, Swiss, the harder Spanish way. Marikina. I can't roll the R. I have never been able to, even though I'm a German and we usually roll the R. I never got there because I grew up in Canada and probably something grew up differently in here because I never had to pronounce it that way until I was 12. So rolling of the R is not, I just gurgle it somehow. So it's Marikina. I guess that's okay. Okay, Kapitan Restaurant. Restaurant siya ngayon. So yung dating spelling po talaga ng Marikina, Q-U-I. Oo. Yung mga, yung parang ng Kastila. Oh, it's an old well. Oh, nice. That is cool. And right now we're waiting. Because we're going to visit the dancers. They're in costume. So cute. And we want to see them rehearse. Hi. Yes, mga traditional dancers. So let's follow them. Be strong. I used to be so careless, careless. But now I'm more than fearless. We're going. Two, three. That 
was such a good phrase. We're going up. Yes, girls, you are. You are steadily going up, reaching new heights as we talk. <laughs> Mabuhay! We Mabuhay. are Hello! Lovely! We also have a program for this morning. So we're doing a cultural exchange because we rehearse here every Sunday. Oh, okay. And special rehearsals if we have a show. And here in Santa Elena, we have a dance, what we call Valse Marina. So Valse. we will just showcase first the dance, and later on I will explain what is the dance all about. Okay. It almost looks like a courtship dance, you know, something that has to do with, with getting into relations, you know, courting someone. Oh. I'll take some too. What are those? Are those mangoes? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so what is balse is all about? So oh. balse came from the word Spanish word waltz. Waltz from Marikina. Okay, so over here in Germany we know what a waltz is. Mm-hmm. Ang balse Marikina ginagawa nila kasi every time na natatapos sila sa Lucrina, yung mga bisita, naghila ng karo, ng procession, they go to the house of the Hermano and Hermana. So we're mm. in the Hermano and Hermana. They welcome here in the house. Dan yung symbol ng ganyan, it's a semiotic symbol of being a hospitality of us. Marikina. Ah, okay. Ano so, yeah. I like the dresses. They're nice. I like the colors and the embroideries up here. Really nice details. The flowers, which fits perfectly for B be for Beanie, but it's actually very nicely done. And these these neck pieces, how do you call them? Chokers, I think. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, serving of any biscuits or what kasi yun. Every after Lotrina, they are serving food. So basically that is the story of the ano, of Balse Marikina. Okay. I am loving Stacy's glasses. She's so cool. Okay, so we will start. Give me a waltz basic passing to your right to right. So let's start. So ready and go. One, two, three, and four. <laughs> Everybody's having fun. <laughs> God's will, nandun kayo. Nakita nyo daw kami. So, at least may babaunin kayo pag alis nyo na Marikina. Somehow, you know what is the folk dance or culture what we have here in Marikina. That right? is cool. That is cool. <laughs> that is actually the best part. All of them having fun. Oh, wonderful. That was nice. That was nice. I am so... There are so many things in the Philippines just because it was um, like Spanish for a whole long time, for many, many years, decades. 
there's so much Spanish history there. I like that. I'm 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 a guy for history. I like um old Europe was totally interesting. We've got we've got Spain, Italy, France. We've got so many different countries packed up here in Europe. There are so many different cultures here and throughout the the last centuries everything had to work out i mean there were wars in between but but you all have to get along somehow the countries need to have need to get along in whichever way and there are little hints of everything everywhere you know there are hin hints of german culture in the northern italy in france we've got french in Germany, we've got some Spanish here and there because at one point everything was just a little, you know, borders were moved around and everything. And that is so interesting to have all these cultures mingle and mix architecturally and everything. And I just love that about the Philippines. It it looks extremely interesting. And I, I definitely want to dive in a little deeper into that whole to that whole era or or that time when it was under under spanish reign or rule or even that i don't really completely know but i'm going to get into that maybe not here on the channel maybe I'll, I'll do that by myself just you know taking a deeper look into that but that's one thing i really am interested in and then just to see how some of that old spanish culture moved into the filipino culture and mixed up with it totally interesting i love that wow this is this is a nice way to show us that and i like i just like how the girls are doing it i mean taking us from town to town or from township to township really nice this is cool this was fun this is fun and just having the 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 enthusiasm and the joy of the girls doing so perfect this is perfect folks as i said in the beginning head on over to beanie subs to that channel show them some love click on their videos make their views go up and yes as for me maraming salamat po i will i'm going to learn the full musica song i I am still struggling with the second verse. I'm getting tied up in the words sometimes, but until I get that perfect, or when I get that perfectly for me, I will post a full version of the song here. Um, I hope you'll like it then too. So, yes, maraming salamat po for being here. You guys are awesome. Um, take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and. You know, as I always say, Sangay Aniyong. Until the next time. Bye.